So, so here recently, um, it was an interview deal with uh, Say Cheese TV. Okay. Uh, he interviewed uh, Main Music, and it's just it's been going, it's been going crazy here. Okay. Okay. Here um, Kodak Black, Black basically came back out and respond because of the, uh, the other rapper Main Music came out and said that, you know, this dude was in PC when we was locked up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He was basically saying some other niggas there heard saying yeah, that nigga Kodak was in PC and some Crips came at him and shit like that and. And, uh, and, I, and I believe the Crips came at him because of the stuff or something that had to do, I guess, with him yeah. saying what he said about Nipsey when Nipsey passed. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, when he, he shot his saying, wife. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Right. So, um, so yeah, so I believe that the Crips had. <coughs> this is what he was saying that the Crips had came to him <coughs> and to check him on some shit, and you uh -huh. know, but Kodak Black could have came out, but I guess he stayed in PC. You know what I'm saying? Like, hmm. and what, what's your thoughts on that? Just because, you know, the, the status. He could have came out of PC. Um, one thing about the um, the system is, is designed to protect you. They judge to protect you. I know Diamond Stone ended up in jail. Uh, is that Diamond Stone? Yeah, that's Diamond Stone, man. Yeah. They're not, I don't give a fuck what you want to say, Diamond Stone. No, you don't want to go to PC. No, you know, don't, you don't fear for your life. No, you don't need no help. I'm a man on my own. I can go in here to the general population with the rest. They're going to say, no, you not. No, you're going to PC. And yes, it's our job to get you away from the general population because our job is to protect you. Yeah. You won't get hurt on our watch, Mr. Diamond. How you know? Because we putting you in GP. I mean, uh, PC. PC, yeah. Protected custody. Nigga, I don't need no motherfucking protected custody. Well, we know that. But we're not doing it for you. We're doing it for us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of niggas get that wrong, think a nigga in PC because that's where he choose to be. He's in PC because of the status of who he is in the world. He don't get a choice. Yeah. Now, he'll be lucky to see general population. Um, believe me, he don't have to be back there. That nigga was in PC. Well, well you think they put Superstar. They're not going to put Michael Jackson in there with you, nigga. They ain't going to put Tupac around all you niggas. But they ain't gonna put Mike Tyson around all you niggas. Yeah, but in that situation, like Kodak Black came out and said, like, but nigga, if I was in PC, nigga, it ain't your business. But I mean, my thing is, do I you, mean, he didn't get a choice to be. Go ahead. Do you, do you, <coughs> in that situation, you know, the status Kodak Black is big. You're like, not going, he's big. You're not going to general population, nigga. Yeah. You, you're not in PC because of you, you, you scared for your life. <coughs> no. You're not a PC because you fear your life. Hell no. We afraid of what, what can happen if you get no, out. No, no. They have the system that got you, that hold you. They, they already know that you there. Your paperwork is there. You're a celebrity. You're not just a, you just not a nobody and you're on our facility. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the president coming to stay the night at your house. Yeah. We got to protect him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not me, I'm going to protect the house. We're going to protect the block before we get here. We're going to make sure our perimeters are goddamn, be, yeah, before he even pull up. Uh. What y'all don't see, that'd be the same type of um 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 system put together for the ones that's high maintenance when I call um Cody Black a high maintenance guy. Yeah. Um uh, you know, his type of shit was on TV before he got there. Um uh, regardless where you at, um, you don't get a choice as a um a celebrity. As Bill Cosby, you think Bill Cosby was sitting there um drinking Coco Mogul and you know, yeah, no, his no. hot cocoa with and coffee and shit with all the other inmates. Yeah, no. Hello! No, no. But let me tell y'all something about that though. They wish they was. Mm. They wish they was. Uh, the last thing a person wanna do is be alone when he in a bad situation. I know we talking today, Diamond. These glasses got me feeling smart. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm feeling like I'm somebody. But anyway, um, uh, you don't you don't get, you know, you don't get a choice, and and when you put somewhere by yourself, tell us from a crib. Yeah. Right on Diamond Stone, man. Say, man, I be locked up in the penitentiary. When I be on Ferguson. I was on Ferguson in my cell one day, and um, uh, one of my partners got a phone call. Uh. When he got the phone calls, he got a call to say that um, one of his people had passed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've, I've received those calls before on um, the chaplain. When they said he wanted, the chaplain want to see you, everybody looking at you crazy like, oh shit. 
They yeah, already know. Yes, sir. The moral of the story is when, when you get news like that, these people will lock you up immediately. You don't even get to go back to your cell. Yeah. Uh, and the sad thing is not by choice. It's not because you don't want to go. Uh, somebody tell me I just lost a love. I need to go back and holler at my boy Diamond Stone, man. I need, I need a shoulder to cry on while I'm in jail. It's some real niggas you can cry on their shoulders, nigga, without the punk shit you whole ass niggas be talking about. Yeah. It's real niggas you can go to in that motherfucker and, and shed a tear to while you're talking, and it don't, it, it, it don't bother them as men. That they seeing you crying because they hurting too, nigga, about what you going through. Uh. When you receive phone calls that you got something like that didn't happen in your thing, they'll put you away to yourself. Uh, why? To, to give you time alone and to protect other people around you. Mm. It's for your protection. That's what the system say. Yeah. When you got people like Bill Cosby and them in there, they don't want to be in that motherfucking man. Solitary is the last place I want to ever fucking go. But let me tell y'all something. You got some people that can do their time better alone. Yeah. They don't want to be around people. Yeah. A lot of these celebrities don't choose to be by themselves. You dig what I'm saying? I brought up the Ferguson incident because when you end up in situations like that, these people will lock you up, man. For your safety. Yeah. And that hurts to be locked up in the side. Man, I don't fuck with no fucking solitary because y'all already know I'm a hoe when it comes to solitary. Yeah, I'm going to tell it on everybody. Snitch jail. He had it. They got cigarettes down there. The niggas yeah, they got yeah, cell yeah, phones yeah, over yeah. there. Uh, they got cell phone, that nigga right there selling the weed. This nigga got the hooch over here. That nigga selling dip over there, boss. Yeah. Yeah. But that nigga just don't take me to solitary. Yeah. I ain't and doing I'm, it. Percy got down like a motherfucker. <laughs> God damn, Percy. Shit, drive the unit out. <laughs> Tell them a crib, man. <laughs> we had a nigga drive the unit out one time. His name was Psycho Blood, nigga, out first. I was coming down to Child Hall one time with my nigga CC. CC told me that the blood nigga had stole some motherfucking weed from me. I walked back up to get the weed. The blood nigga tell me that I wasn't in their business. That was between him and the other Crip nigga. Yeah. But I just watched this nigga take something from a Crip nigga and he didn't want to get his shit back. But the Crip nigga told me that I could have the shit so I got the shit from him. So I told the blood nigga, say blood nigga, it's mine now. Give me the motherfucking money. He said I could have the money. He said, yeah, Percy, if you get the $100 from the blood nigga, you can have it. Cool. Yeah. I made the 100 blood nigga, went and told the blood nigga. I said, look, I could. You got my money. Yeah. Blood nigga was like, what's up? I said, yeah, cuz, cuz gave you my weed. See, well, the thing was, the blood nigga was gonna run off with the goddamn weed. Yeah. He was gonna rob the crib nigga. But when the crib nigga said, person, you can have what he gave to me, now that shit became my, my shit. Yeah, so when I checked the motherfucking blood nigga, the blood nigga didn't have no, no means on paying the crib nigga any fucking way. But now that I didn't got this shit, the blood nigga that took an ounce or something to distribute it around the rest of the niggas to the other blood niggas to feed his protection. So in case the shit, when he hit the wall, you know, he'll be protected because y'all smoke, he smoked, he gave something to him. But guess what? Percy ain't trying to hear none of that shit. You finna give me my motherfucking shit. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. Slob ass nigga. I jumped on some gang shit. Right yeah. there in the penitentiary. And the blood niggas caught on. I had to go see King B. I was like, God damn. King B, what's going on? I said, cuz King B. You know, see, King B, we didn't have situations where um, I had to, you know, get D low out the system. But now, it's a situation where uh, it's a blood nigga gotta go too now. Yeah. Hello! Yeah, I'm just saying that to say, no, it ain't never been, I used to read the comment, nigga, you supposed to be a big crip, you let the blood bees, the blood run, your, your best homeboy off the unit. Well, now, I tell y'all like this, when uh, rules are broken, the rules don't change for nobody who the fuck they is. And one thing, my rules ain't now, nigga, taking nothing from a crip. <laughs> Shit, I don't give a fuck who you is. Crip niggas don't take losses. You dig what I'm saying? From yeah. now, uh, especially not the other side. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah, so, um. Uh, now the shoe is on the other foot. <laughs> but can't be. Uh. You look part of y'all call psycho, the little crazy blood nigga. Cause then they gonna have my money, we come back in, we gonna smoke him. Wait a minute, hold on, no can be hold on now, Percy, man. You know, can he really come on, man? What's going on? Cause you could he you know. Uh. You don't know. You don't know where I got that from. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Turns gangster weird. You know, I always throw it up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But anyway, um, I was the type of nigga when this when I when I when I when I'm, when I'm on Stone Down, uh, I don't care what nobody say. When I go into Stone Down mood, I don't care what bees they say, whatever they say, cause uh, it ain't about what they saying right now, it's about what I'm finna do. You did what I'm saying? I had to stick to that, um, 
I had to stay on that train the same track. And, and when, when, you know, once the train started going on, I'm sorry, Diamond, uh, we can't, you know, yeah. uh, can't make no U-turns in the train. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Diamond. No. This train don't go on flat either. Yeah. Yeah, the tires always hurt <laughs> up. We, yeah. we rolling. <laughs> that mean we rolling. But anyway, make a long story short, when he came down to get the psycho, psycho child, he burnt on us. Uh, said that to say this, when I tried to go get psycho, nigga psycho know he was done. And he was psycho. He had earned his name, who he was. He just finna jack, jack a crib, nigga, and take all the weed. Shit, until he got gangster. When yeah. then you old Percy, and Percy come with all the crib niggas. And they gonna come get their product back. Nigga, nigga said $100? Oh, I got... Oh, my God. How much? <laughs> <laughs> Quit playing with me, Diamond, over there, boy. Stop playing with me. That's my nigga, boy. <laughs> hey, hey, um, that, nah, that, for real. That hundo valuable, that What? Nigga, $5 is valuable. Yeah. $2 is good money in that hoe. Hello. Yeah. You know what I said? $2 is good money. 100 Shit. I'm turn this motherfucker out. You hear Yeah, yeah. Nah. Like a Bobby Brown song, you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna rock this bitch tonight, you <laughs> for old times' sake, you hear me? Oh man. <laughs> anyway, um, <coughs> that was the thought. Right. Tales from a crib, man. Uh, early one morning, man, I went to school, man. We had a whole operation that was going real smooth and plain, man. When I stepped inside the school building, I was sitting there getting my bits on. I was talking to my nigga Assassin. He was sitting on side of him. We were kicking the shit in the school. Things going good. Looked up. Uh, about nine officers run through the door. When the nine officers run through the door, I'm looking at them. They looking at everybody. I'm like, ooh, somebody has in for it now. Yeah. We looking like them all. They coming to get somebody. No, somebody. True. Here they come. Here they come. God damn. And that man said, uh, Mr. Jimerson, step up here. Well, God damn. Now, the whole education building started. You got about like five classrooms in this one building, and everybody's open class. And now everybody in every class is stopping, start turning around to see what the law is doing, and they want Percy. For what? Shit, hold up, do it again on Diamond. For what? <laughs> Shit, I ain't did nothing. I ain't did nothing. I, I, I'm glad I got these on. Yeah. The TDC. Oh, man. For all y'all that don't know what these are, uh, this is an upgrade. This yeah. This is an upgrade. This is an upgrade. And I'm gonna take my head off to make it look good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stay there for a minute. Uh, I did that because the TDC, we call these Buddy Hollies. Uh, anybody know what the Buddy Hollies is? <laughs> anybody? Else? Oh, these are TDC certified glasses, understand me? Uh, so I had to pay attention with a little extra. Finesse to go to the side, to the corners of them, understand me? Yeah. The niggas don't got, um, but in, in prison, we call these Buddy Hollies. Yeah. These are the glasses they, you know, issue out. Big ass glasses. <laughs> I call them, Ch I call them Chesters. <laughs> and them Chesters, them child molesters together. Them niggas looking up on them, hey, y'all come here. Y'all get, y'all, is y'all going to school today? <laughs> huh? Is anybody going to school today? You know, that's them glasses. And, them butt and y'all see them white boys when they put tape. But anyway, back to the story right here. The laws come and get me, man. They rush me down. This thing you know, nigga, uh, the nigga psycho, the went psycho. Right. As soon as I go in the motherfucker, they got about like five of my partners already in there before I get there. When I walk inside the building, it's about five of my homeboys on the line, and everybody got familiar faces in handcuffs. And guess what? I'm in handcuffs too now. So when I walk in, I'm looking at what's going on. I'm like, I see my partner and I'm like, God uh, damn. And they, they, they walk me right past them real fast. But y'all see how these police, we some. And they walk, like, like you, like, like say, man, have you ever seen when them niggas be getting inside them cars when they come to pop they be trying to get inside, they come out them buildings and they trying to get to their car. And then people rushing them to their car, you know, and the people run, and they got yeah. duck their head and put it on in there and get that. Yeah. You know, that's how they ran me past them niggas. <laughs> they didn't want them niggas to give me a sign, a cue, or, or Ali, or what's going on. They hurry up, just rush me by them niggas. I'm like, God damn. I'm seeing them. I see my partner them, my hand behind my back, and I'm walking by these niggas real quick. I'm like, God damn, what's going on? When they rush me inside this little old dope, nigga, um, the warden, the warden sitting there, the assistant warden, the captain, uh. No, Cam, 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 Cam Forrest, uh, 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 McQueen, the GI, the GI, the gang intelligence, Miss McQueen, one of the baddest bitches on the motherfucker, uh, and you got the warden right here, you got the colonel sitting his bitch ass right there, and the lieutenant, I'm like, God damn. 
What's going on? You got my girl, you know, Captain Forrest. She do all the questions. You know, for some reason, Captain Forrest is the captain because the warden is the type of person that sits back and listens. They say nothing. Mm -hmm. They don't even ask you a question. It's whatever the captain says is what's going to go. If she recommends something, the warden going to ride along with it or, or the warden will recommend harder punishment. The warden, the warden is a um, type of person, you know, you got a good warden, they don't say nothing, they just tell them what to do. They'll listen to the story and they'll tell them, hey, well, um, such and such him, you know, send him to solitary, uh, hang him, give him a life, you know, and they'll walk out and it's whatever she said. Cruel, but they be the ones that just sit there and do this. So when I came in, they were going on in Captain Forrest, I'm looking at Captain, so I knew shit was serious, don't come here playing. The buddy buddy shit with Captain Forrest right now. Yeah. Uh, nigga act like you know something wrong, cause something wrong. Yeah. First thing wrong, I'm in handcuffs. She and these niggas got built two on one law on this side, another on this side, and I'm trying to find what's going on. And when I run into this motherfucker, she said, um, go get the other guy. So I'm just like, shit. Nigga Captain Forrest like, you know, what's up? You ain't saying shit. Look at the other guy. So I'm waiting on who the fuck she coming about the other guy. So when they came back in, they came through the door with the other guy. He ain't rushing him through the door. Look up, it's psycho. With handcuffs on. Yeah. So I looked down, I'm like, damn. She said, you know who that is? Nah, I seen him around. She said, we, and he said that uh, he owes you some money. You said he owes you some money and uh, you was gonna uh, you was gonna have him killed off. Who told you that? He said you owe him. He owes you some money. Well, he gave up all your buddies out there. And um, Demerson, it's not, you know. Um, so I'm looking at the nigga like, you know, my job right now is to play the hardest game of chess in the world. When you when you sit when you sitting around people that I'm sitting in front of right now, if you don't know how to make good moves right now, yeah, you finna lose this game. Yeah. Y'all know this, you know this is what I specialize in. Yeah. Um, proacting before I react. Oh, okay. That means thinking about what I do before I do it. Yeah. Think about my next move. Do I come in this bitch saying something? Be quiet because I see some powerful pieces at the chessboard today. There's some powerful pieces on this board today, and, they, and ain't nobody made a move yet, so if they don't say nothing, I bet not say nothing. Yeah, yeah. So my job is to keep quiet and find out what the fuck is going on, what's been said, and what's happening. Because right now, y'all know person. <laughs> I'm scared of solitary. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm scared of solitary. They start talking solitary, <laughs> my glass is going with no. Yeah. Solitary? For what? Demerson, what's going on? Man, that man don't owe me nothing. What are you talking about? Shit. Now, Demerson, he gave up all your buddies out there. Um, can y'all go down there and pitch test Demerson right quick? Fuck. Yeah, say, so grab my arms and rush me out of here. Head down, go. They made everybody turn to face the wall before they took me out. Made everybody in the hallway get down on the floor, face the wall. Face the wall, I mean the whole penitentiary stop. And everybody gotta turn and face the fucking wall while they walk me down the hall. Tell them I'm not lying, y'all. On Ferguson Unit. Thanks. Hello! Yeah. You hear what I see? I said the whole unit stop. The whole unit. Stop. Face the wall. If you in that hallway, y'all know I'm not lying on Ferguson. When they walk a person down the hallway with them handcuffs on, won't won't won't, they tell everybody to stop! All movement stop in the hallways. Face the wall. Yeah. And then everybody in that motherfucker got to turn and face the wall. And, be, and guess what they better not get caught doing? Peeking. Looking back to see who the fuck walking by. Mm. Yeah, it's going to jail. If they catch you looking the opposite way, one of them, you know, you got a whole ass law or a bitch ass law to catch you, be in nose and try to see who the fuck they walk. When they say face that wall. Yeah. Uh. Nuts the butt, nigga. <laughs> Nuts the butt. That mean. Find your motherfucking tip of your nose on, on, on the corner. Find your spot on the goddamn wall and put your nose on it. Shit. Don't look this way. Them hoes beat you up over on Ferguson. You said you, say you can't look like what? Like No, no. Oh, yeah. You, that's about to, Man, face that wall. What you can't do? Yeah. Get him. Yeah, yeah. Get him. Got one looking. 
You better not take it. You better not. That's what you can't do. Yeah, but I, I know. Now, now I watch it, watch it. Head, that's though. a good one. Peak. No, no, peeking to get you got. Yeah. But, but what to get you got? Shit, turn your head. And try to see who that was. What? Nigga, snatch your whole neck out when you come around that <laughs> God damn, jump you. Yeah. Face that wall. But anyway, they took me down there. They ran me for the pitch test, you know. <clears throat> Which y'all know, y'all know what happened. Person came back clean. <laughs> I don't do drugs in jail, nigga. In jail, yeah. I never did a drug when I was locked up in prison. Not a day in my fucking life. I ain't smoking no weed, nothing. Bitch, I don't even want no coffee. I don't want no mind, optical chem. I'm fucked up naturally in this hole. Yeah. Nigga, I'm on some whole more shit right now, nigga. Uh, <laughs> clear minded. And, yeah. and this lady said, Demerson has to be on drugs the way they say he be acting around here. Say like, what, bitch? I don't do no drugs. <laughs> Who told y'all that? Yeah. Them niggas do the drugs. <laughs> uh. And since what's going on, I gotta be. They got me now. They got me now. Uh. The thing is, they got me now. <clears throat> Why they got me? Cause um. Uh, every last one of them niggas out there that I came past, all them niggas do drugs. Yeah. My bad. Deal drugs. <laughs> Shit. My bad, deal drugs, you know. Uh. Diamond, tell us from a crib. I want you to know in prison, fighting and you know, and all that other extra shit, that ain't man, that ain't that ain't that ain't that ain't what's really going on. Yeah. That's just what's going on in there. That's just a part of, of what's going, going on. on. Yeah. Diamond, out here in this world, fighting. <laughs> I mean the fights that you hear about out here. Yeah. Not that many. Not that no, no. No, how many drug busts do you hear about Gil, you know? A lot. That part. Well, prison is no different. Yeah, we fight. That ain't shit. Fighting ain't shit in here, nigga. That's the small shit. Everybody in here talking about being a nigga, I never fight. Cause that, that don't make you shit. Nigga, the shit was the hustlers. Yeah. That was the dang, the hustlers that's in there. Nigga, the hu niggas actually treat the prison like they in the fucking streets niggas hustle in this hoe nigga don't give a damn about no fight them niggas are fighting cuz they making the hustle hard fucking up the hustle over here fight without a fight cuz you fucking up the hustle over here cuz yeah you got niggas that hustle uh, don't it's like coming by shooting on the block bow 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 say cuz don't come over and shoot you break draw the tin the lock hey what you doing nigga making it hot damn person yeah Came over and jumped on that nigga guy. Damn, you know the hustlers over there can't do nothing about it. They ain't nothing. You know, there might be some neutrons. Yeah. That ain't in the shit, but 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 say, but sitting back living off the land, you know, on the hustle. Ain't nothing, ain't no crib, ain't no blood, ain't no nothing. Just a real nigga that's in there hustling. Uh, you don't gotta be in the game to be a hustler. Oh, let me tell y'all something about that hustle. That hustle got more homeboys that hustle too that they didn't nothing new. They don't and bet not nobody fuck with them. Yeah. <laughs> them niggas hustle so hard, they can say something about nigga, crip niggas not doing nothing, it better not happen. Uh, that type of respect. Shout out to my nigga uh, DJ Hollywood. <laughs> OG Hollywood, man. Uh, you know, it's just a certain position that you can hold in there. You've been there so long, you don't have to be in nothing. Hollywood wasn't in nothing. I never did time with Hollywood, but I checked his background, you know, because when you got to check backgrounds, I can come back around and bring this shit back around. Yeah. I had to check his background so I can come back around and bring this shit back around to y'all. Yeah. Tell y'all what's really going on. Uh, Hollywood background was good because Hollywood came back squeaky clean as being the nigga that he said he was. I don't dig into niggas business, but anyway, I go take the piss test, come back clean. Now I'm back in the office with the lady. She asked me with these niggas head down. What the fuck is going on, Demers? Captain, I don't know what's going on. You the one got me in handcuffs. Yeah. Hello. Like that. Straight like looking like she, that. <laughs> and when I say she get pissed quick at me, the captain get, one thing about Captain Forrest, she gets so mad at me so fast because uh, one thing she don't play is sarcasm. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. You had the look on your face too, did you? You know I got to. I know, yeah, yeah. I, I got. Listen, you gotta play chess right now. Yeah. And then you know, you know, in her job it ain't no time for this bullshit person. Because guess what, y'all? Um, when Kevin Forrest came back in there, and she showed me what she just found on all them niggas out there. You lucky your fucking piss test came back clean. That's all I need was a, a was 
a little caffeine in my shit, nigga. Could've been some coffee seeds in that hoe. I was finna go with the rest of these niggas. All them niggas was going. What had happened was psycho, fuck nigga, slob nigga, blood nigga gave up the game. He didn't just give up the game. He knew once he told it on me, he gotta go. See, some niggas will risk their whole life just to go. But they know if they got the right information to get up off this motherfucking unit and you got you saying some shit that they wanna hear, yeah. you can get the fuck up off Gilligan Island. Know what they wanna hear. But we wanna hear how the fuck they getting all this shit in here. Give us the blueprint to what the fuck is going on, and we'll let you go. Yeah. And they say, I got you. Blood nigga told everything. Everybody that that lady walked me past in that hall when they came and did that roundup that morning. Yeah. They didn't just start with Percy. Percy was the shit. I wasn't shit in the goddamn puzzle. I'm not a hustler. Y'all know what the fuck I do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and they didn't, you know. Y'all know, I, I keep my nose away from shit like that. Yeah, yeah. It ain't my business. And, you, you know? Yeah. I'm saying? But anyway, um. Uh, that nigga told him to say, ma'am, this is a Tales from a Crip. Tales of the blueprint. The blueprint was, man, say, man, we had, they had an organization to where, um, you know, the trash truck would pick up some people, out, pick up, you know, the trash outside in the free world, that they would let the inmates go. Let me tell you something. This nigga put the task force on every operation um, that he said that he knew about. If he said he knew about what was going on, they put a sting right there and they watched it. They put officers in every place. They, they watched the trash truck that morning. They watched the drop get dropped from the free world to the trash truck. No, Big C. Big C. Yeah. CC. Shout out CC. Shout out to the big homie CC. He said, <laughs> I'm sorry. That shit be funny that I can laugh, y'all. But at that time, shit. You wouldn't even crack a smile. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm just laughing because I remember the fear in them niggas eyes when the shit was going down. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Hey. Hey. Hey, watch out. I got to hit y'all with that one. Hey. Hey. Watch out. Y'all know the look in the nigga eyes when he in trouble? <laughs> Shit'll fuck you up. I mean, at that time, you just got... Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all didn't have some homeboys that's in real, real trouble. Y'all had to look at them niggas and be like... But there ain't shit you can do. Have you ever seen your homeboy in the back of the police car like this and you just have to walk by and look at him? Yeah. God damn, damn. cool, they got cool. And some niggas will sit outside there on the sidewalk and just, you know, watch you. While you in the back back there, you know. They ain't seen up there. Damn, cool. Well, that nigga, don't think this guy gonna take that bitch ass to the house, cool. Sitting here staring at me like I'm in a parade now, so. <laughs> nigga looking at me like I'm a cage, you know, an animal in a cage, you know, because I'm in the back of the police car. And the sad thing about it, when that nigga get in there and he put the car in dry. <laughs> they still watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Cole, get out. You in the back seat looking stupid. <laughs> Saying that to say this, that's the look in these niggas' eyes when on. <laughs> I know it, Diamond. Diamond be fucking Diamond. Say, yeah, we about to get Diamond on. Uh, no, for, no for, for the app, some for the outbreaks, man. Say, man. That nigga says real. He can see this shit, man. He know what he got, you know. Hey, you know, you yeah. know what is going down. <laughs> but anyway, um, say man, Cece had this look in his face. That, <laughs> that, that, that nigga fucking me up, man. Damn, we got to cut, man. God hey. damn, we got to cut hey. this nigga, well, hold man. On. Hold on, let's keep it going. Well, no, for real. <laughs> it's like, we've been watching that shit since we were little. I ain't never think about that shit. Niggas always <laughs> run up to the police car and watch the nigga sitting in the back of the truck. Yeah, y'all stop playing. Nah, I feel. And the nigga sitting up. Say, man, it's a, it's a sight to see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Show how you sit up. Nah, no, don't do that. Don't do no, that. Now I, I, <laughs> nah, I won't let me make. Nah, you know how nigga be in that back. You know, <laughs> nigga gotta take that ride. Say, y'all know what it feel like to me and cuz on your spend they too tight, or you gotta get to the side like this oh, and lean, man. you know, and relax, enjoy your ride. Yeah. Um, get comfortable. That's a bad feeling, man. That's so humiliating to put your hands behind your back. <laughs> yeah, it's bad people. Anyway, um. They rated everything. He told about the drop in the free world, how the yeah. drop came from the free world, made it inside the building, inside the camp, to the camp. Okay, yeah, yeah. He, he, he yeah. told on the whole camp. Yeah, he told on the whole camp. He, he told the whole blueprint how they, you know, the shit was being transferred from the outside world to the camp, the prison camp, from the camp to the prison building. Uh, 
And them people set up a steam for everything. When that man told them when the shit was gonna hit a drop, yeah. they was sitting there waiting on the drop. Uh. Sad no, uh. I, I, I swear y'all, uh. Percy has been one of uh, a, a major piece on the chessboard when it comes to keeping his nose out of certain people's business. Right. I'm not a hustler, I just like to fight. So, um, the shit them niggas doing in there, I just knew one thing. Can, can, can I, just, just let me make, it, make sense to you, just, just listen. I just know one thing. I, I mean, down, this is gonna hurt. Yeah. I gotta say it, y'all. What's that? For all the common sense people. This is, all, this is only for the common sense people, Dom. Uh, you know, there's a lot of hustling going on in prison. But I, I just want... Damn. This is going to hurt y'all more than it hurt me to say this to you hustlers. But what the fuck make you think if you get caught out here in this whole free world that you're not going to get caught while you in that motherfucker? I, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, you in the place where people get caught in. Where they go. If you get caught in the world doing the shit, what the fuck make you think you won't get caught in? Come on, man, make it make sense. You was in, you got told on. It's more telling in prison. Man, say, it's more telling in prison than it is anywhere. It's more snitches in prison than anything. It's more snitches in prison than on the streets. Yeah. You got niggas that's already locked up doing their motherfucking time still telling it on niggas. <laughs> In prison. You got more niggas playing undercover and that hoe to get time reduced off stop at eight times, they can get somebody caught up. It's just like, hold on. I guess they think a nigga just saying something, they say, um, prison is a whole new world. It's a different world. I we didn't say no place. We said it's a different world inside of this world. Mm -hmm. Prison is a different world. You know, I didn't say state, I didn't say a different city. Yeah. I said it's a different world inside of this world. How the fuck you know? Why do everybody... Uh, it'll really dawn on you with reality set in to know that this is called the free world. Yeah. It's not the United States. <laughs> Shit. Shit, boys. Yeah. I know he gonna hit that whole time. <laughs> Say, that, that was my cue. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. This is called the free world. They got a world inside this world. You got niggas in the penitentiary, goddamn it. They got everything you got in their world that you got in the free world. In the free world, yeah. But anyway, y'all. Uh, the look in those guys' eyes that you will see, man, when you know that you're in trouble, and this is the it, you know. <laughs> Say, I have to stand tall on the wall and know that I ain't got shit to do with this part of the game. But every last one of these niggas finna go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just guilty by association. Guess why I'm guilty by association? Why? Because I got on white too. Yeah. Hello! Yeah. Yeah, Because I got on white too. Yeah. We all got on the same color. I'm guilty by association. Yeah? I'm wearing they colors. Shit, like I got a motherfucking choice. But, um, that situation came out to be fucked up, man. Um, Psycho snitched on the whole organization, snitched on the whole team. And guess what? Just like they said, they offered, they offered him that trip to the Bahama Mamas. To yeah. the Bahamas. Sipping on Bahamas. And, and, they, and they, you know what I'm saying. Help me, Doc. Sipping on that Bahama Yeah, Mama. yeah. They, helped, they offered that nigga that trip to the Bahamas. Sipping on Bahama Mamas, man. Yeah. It won a, it won a, it won a week later. Psycho was sitting somewhere with some sandals on with his feet up. Like yeah. that. Sipping out of coconut. Yeah. <laughs> See, with his shades, you no. Know, <laughs> Watching. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's what snitching got him in there. I hope y'all want I want y'all to know y'all niggas worry about niggas telling y'all telling on y'all. Niggas more niggas are telling on you in the penitentiary than anything. 
Smoke cow with the next motherfucker than anything. Smoke snitches. A lot of cows killed some, some real niggas out here. Oh, my bad. A lot of cows killed some so called real niggas out here. Um, because, um, for a cow to kill you, you had to be fucking with him. Hello! <laughs> I said it again, for a coward to kill you, you had to be fucking with him. I mean, sometimes you gotta make it make sense, darling. You hear me? Yeah. Let's go, man.